Hey magic makers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going to the grocery store together, getting a lot of things. I was out of a bunch of groceries that we needed to the point where my husband was like, um, can you go to the grocery store pretty soon? Because I stay home most of the time. And so that's usually my, my job is to get all the groceries. And so um, we're gonna be getting groceries and then doing a grocery haul at the end. And my husband and I, we follow a sugar-free, carbohydrate-free, um, or I should say refined carbohydrate-free ketogenic diet. So you're gonna see all the goodies that we found to go along with that lifestyle. Okay, we are at the store, about ready to go in. We're gonna get all of our groceries. I've got my list in here somewhere. I better pull it out. I got my list, all the things that I need, and hopefully we'll... About me, what do you wanna say? Hey. Unicorn So Hallie and I are gonna go in and tackle this list and hopefully be done sooner than later. Hopefully, it looks pretty busy, but hopefully we can get everything we need. Pulled too hard. Mama, I think it's fixable. Here's your other mask. Be more gentle, okay? Mama, this one does not break. This is a fixable thing. Mama. Okay, let's do this. You ready? Yeah! I just had to show you guys these were so cute I found these in the beauty section of my local HEB and so I just thought they were so fun they had Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse they had some uh, frozen hand sanitizers there's Elsa there and they even had some baby Yoda ones which were so cute so anyways just wanted to share those with you I thought they were really fun I wanted to take a second and invite you guys to like and subscribe and also hit the bell so that you don't miss any of my future motivating content. I like to put out homemaking inspiration, motherhood, and Disney lifestyle videos and so I don't want you to miss out on any future content I have coming. Is anybody else a huge Titanic fan? I might have to ask for this for Christmas. I just saw that and thought it was so fun. And then of course they had like the office and they had a friends board game. I know how you like it. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Of course, going in to the store, because normally I do grocery pickup, I had to go see the holiday section and they have all this fun Texas themed stuff. If you're from Texas, you know, we are very proud of our state. And I just thought this was so funny. Only in Texas would you find this type of stuff. And so if it would be perfect if you were trying to do like a Texas themed tree or um, they had some of these Texas themed ornaments. I just thought I would share that with you guys. It's so fun. Okay, show me what you picked. Flarp. Flarp. Oh it, boy. It's too. I know. <laughs> Change in our toy decision. What did you pick instead? A good old fashioned slinky. Eh, it's the 75th anniversary of slinky. Oh, this is I I know what the, this is sponsored of. What? Just play. Ooh, I wish we were sponsored by Just Play. <laughs> 
Every time we go to HEB, Hallie has to ask the cashier for what's called buddy bucks. And this is, we joke, it's basically like gambling for little kids because it's like a little lotto machine. They put their money in and then they get to go up here and hit the button. And um, it's, it's fun. She has so much fun with it. You're supposed to collect the number that you land on. They give you a little ticket and you're supposed to collect them and then turn them in for a prize once you reach a certain amount. All right, here we go. <laughs> I get 50 points. Yay! You got 50 points. Good job. But I We are gonna do a little grocery haul real quick. So my husband and I, we are following a sugar-free, refined carbohydrate-free, ketogenic basically lifestyle. And so a lot of these products will be for that type of lifestyle. And then my daughter, who's five, her name is Hallie and she is not following a ketogenic lifestyle. So I got her some of these, they're off brand. She goes, mommy, I wanted Chips Ahoy. I was like, they're the same thing. But we got her these chocolate chip cookies and she asked for Jello. I honestly don't think she likes Jello, but she wanted it and gave me a good argument for it. So she's honestly a picky eater. So I hope she does eat those. And then we got her some Pop-Tarts. These are her favorite. And then of course, chocolate milk. Like this girl, she could live on chocolate milk if I would let her. Um, so then let's go over here. We'll start over here with everything else that I got. So I'm gonna do taco salad one night this week. So I have some lettuce. Uh, this is for keto chili that we're gonna be having, bell pepper. And then I got this as well for having taco salad. And this is really, really good. This is at our local um, grocery store. They have this already made guacamole that you can get. And they have it in three different, I think it's three. Yeah, they have a mild, medium, and hot. And the hot is like, whoo. Um, but that's really, really good. And then Tyler and I really like, this is uh, Swiss cheese and ham. And I got a pound of both of these because we really like to have to roll them up and have them as a quick meal or snack on the go. I got us uh, some frozen cauliflower rice because I use that in just about every single recipe. Like, you know, it substitutes, either I can mash it to where it's like a um, mashed potato substance or I can do it like rice. So we constantly, and I substitute it in our spaghetti instead of doing noodles. Okay, I was interrupted, Hallie came in with something, but yeah, so this is the cauliflower rice. I think I got five bags of those because we use it, like I said, with almost every meal. I'm super excited about this. This is the sugar-free and then classic hazelnut. I've been using some pumpkin spice um, mix, well, it's just seasoning actually, and vanilla extract and then caramel extract, but I haven't had anything hazelnut and I really like hazelnut, so I'm excited for that. I got, we use this all the time. I use it in my uh, sugar-free barbecue sauce recipe that's by All Day I Dream About Food. And so this is Heinz tomato ketchup, no sugar added, and it is uh, safe for my husband and I to have. This is Whataburger's Creamy Pepper. Oh my gosh, if you do not have Whataburger near you, I'm so sorry, but this is so good. And it's got a lot of fat in it, so it's great for keto. Let me turn this around. There we go. It's got a lot of fat in it, so it's great for keto, but we ran out because we used our last bottle and now we needed another one. Of course, almond flour. Uh, almond flour and coconut flour are big staples if you're eating this way that my husband and I are eating. These I love getting from my local grocery store because I can get them already made. I don't have to mess with like cutting jalapenos and all that mess. So I will pop these in for dinner one night this week. And this is for keto chili, which I think I'm gonna make that tonight actually, but um, just tomato paste and uh, diced tomatoes. And then cheddar cheese, I was running low on that. Heavy whipping cream, I have this in my coffee every morning. And then I hope, I bought it several times meaning to make, Tyler loves ice cream. 
So I have not made us ketogenic ice cream yet. And so I need to make that for him. So I bought one for coffee and then one to do our um, ice cream in. These are amazing. And Tyler eats these just, he goes through them so fast. So um, these are little Bay Bell cheeses. Italian sausage also for the keto chili recipe. This will be for, I think it was three for a dollar at my grocery store. So I went ahead and got three of those for my taco salad later. And then I got these and I wanna know, do you have issues with dry eyes? I have major issues with dry eyes. I went to my eye doctor recently and told her and she gave me these. These have helped. These have been the best that um, I've come across so far to help relieve my dry eye issues. But I mean, I drink a lot of water. I take electrolytes. I try and limit, it's hard to, but I try and limit my screen time. But let me know if you have issues with dry eyes and if you found any remedies that have helped you. This is my favorite facial cream. Callie just asked if she could get into the Jello, so I guess she is gonna eat it after all. To you, this cream, this is the best cream that I found for my face. It's actually more of a gel, and I like it because it's not real greasy. And um, I have, I have medium skin, so it can get oily, but it also can get dry. It's complicated, complicated skin. So that's my favorite. Uh, nobody else in my home is a coffee drinker and I find that this is really, really good. Um, so I just do instant coffee instead of making myself a whole pot, you know, and having to do the grounds every day. And I really like that. I just was running out of this cinnamon spice tea. This, I have not tried this HEB brand yet, but I'm excited to try it because I love cinnamon spice tea. That's like a dessert to me to get to have that. And then this was on sale and it was so sad because they had a deal this week where if you bought a bag of the Lily's chocolate chips, like to make cookies or dessert, then you got a free bar of these. And I went back to find the chocolate chips and they were completely out. So I don't know what was going on with that, but this is so stinking good. If you are sugar-free, you definitely need I to I also try. got this. These are sugar-free Russell Stover's and it comes with a variety. So there's um, peppermint patties, peanut butter cups, uh, pecan delights, and then toffee squares. And I'm really, really excited to try these. I have had the toffee bars, I believe, the sugar-free toffee bars, and those are really, really good. But this is just something to have on hand in case of my husband and I are wanting something sweet and I haven't made anything. Then I have that. I'm gonna try these. I have not tried it before. I've tried the Quest Ranch chips and those are really, really good. Like if you like Cool Ranch Doritos or if you like having a chip with your um, taco salad, then I would definitely recommend that. But I wanted to try these because these are tortilla style. I haven't tried them yet. So my husband and I, were gonna try those for, <laughs> I can't talk, I had a brain fart. Um, we're gonna try these for our taco salad. And then I got these bangs. I really like the Froze Rose and the birthday, let's see, birthday cake bash is the official name. And I really like the bang energy drinks. I got four of them because I'm adding on, oh, I'm adding on um, two extra days in the next, well, no, I take that back. I'm adding on, a shift a week. So that's two extra shifts for me than I normally take the next week. And so um, I got these because I'm gonna need it to help me get through the night. I do overnight. So that was a necessity. And then I showed you guys this and I get Hallie bread. She has bread for um, peanut butter sandwiches and grilled cheese sandwiches. I don't know if any other moms feel like all they do is make grilled cheese sandwiches, but that is totally me. I got more of this. This is, uh, I need cake extract for the keto cookies that I make. And oh my gosh, it, they are so good. I was really excited. I found this and it's uh, Hidden Valley's Ranch seasoning and it's this whole bottle. And so I just went ahead and got that because I found that I was using it a lot. I put it a lot in my um, cauliflower mash. And so I wanted to, to do that and then these i've talked about this before if you 
watch my channel, you know that I love Swerve, Swerve Sweetener. So I got the like powdered sugar version and I got the brown sugar version and I can only find these at HEB. My, um, my local Walmart has the, well, they have the powdered sugar and the granulated sugar version of Swerve. But I, on vacation, we were out of state and we couldn't find the regular granulated Swerve that I normally use. And so they had this and I tried it. And actually, I like this a lot, lot better. This to me tastes like actual sugar, whereas the Swerve granulated tastes it has a cooling effect after it. And just recently I made another batch of my keto cookies and uh, I had only granulated swerve on hand and I didn't have this, I was out. And so Tyler and I both said, oh my gosh, major difference. You know, when I made it with this, we could not tell that it was a keto cookie or diet, anything. But when I did use the granulated swerve, yes, we could tell. So anyways, if this is nice because all of these products are like cup for cup, so you don't have to do any type of conversions when you're cooking with a different sweetener. It's the same as if you were cooking with sugar. And then I was excited because my husband really loves these. This is um, like Coke Zero, but it's Big Red Zero. And so this is something that we can have on keto and stay on track. So. That was long-winded, but that is my grocery haul for this week.